This story is about when Rowan Elizabeth first met Galloper. Rowan Elizabeth lived with her mum and dad in California, where it was usually hot and sunny. It was a nice house, but fairly ordinary, and it had a nice garden that wasn't ordinary at all, because it was filled with fairies. Rowan was the only one who could see them, of course, but she had made friends with them all, and they all called her Miss Rowan, even the more grown-up tree fairies like Willow and Holly and Hazel. Rowan liked living in California, but sometimes she wished it would rain so she could go splashing in puddles. She knew about rain because she had a grandma and granddad who lived in Yorkshire, England, where it seemed to rain all year round. One wet day in England, grandma and granddad found a shop that sold all kinds of interesting things. There were coloured jugs and bottles, little wooden boxes, jewellery, paintings from all over the world, and right at the back there was something covered with an old blanket. Grandma asked the shopkeeper, "'What's that?' "'Oh, it's just a toy,' he said. "'Children want video games and computers these days. Nobody wants to buy this sort of thing any more.' "'Can we see it, please?' Grandma asked, and the man lifted off the old blanket. Underneath was a beautiful rocking horse with a dark brown coat, a white mane and tail, and light-coloured patches on every foot that looked like furry socks. There was a real leather saddle and harness, and carved silver rockers. Grandma said, Oh my goodness, that looks like one of the shire horses we have round here. I think Rowan would like that. Shall we buy him for her? Grandad said, Yeah, let's. But he's far too big to send to America. We'll keep him here in England, and Rowan can play with him when she comes to visit. Next time they went on the webcam, Grandma told Rowan about the rocking horse, and showed her what he'd looked like. But we have to keep him here, sweetheart, Grandma said. You'll have to wait until you come over to England again. But, as it turned out, Rowan Elizabeth did not have to wait that long, because the little horse had ideas of his own. That night, as Rowan snuggled up in bed, drifting off to sleep, she heard a gentle voice humming a tune. "'Ah, I know that song,' she said. "'It's about October winds. Mummy sings it to me sometime to help me get to sleep.' The humming stopped, and a quiet voice said, "'Shh! That's why I'm singing it, Miss Rowan. I can only come when you're fast asleep.' "'Who are you?' Rowan said. "'You you call me Miss Rowan, like my fairies do, but... "'You don't sound like a fairy,' the voice chuckled. "'I'm much bigger than a fairy, and I don't have wings. "'My name is Galloper.' Rowan looked, and there was the rocking horse that Grandma had shown her. "'But you can't be here,' she said. "'You're thousands of miles away in England.' "'Oh, that's true,' Galloper said. "'But I can still come to you in your dreams. "'Now, would you like to go for a ride?' Rowan climbed up on Galloper's back, put her feet in the stirrups, and held on to the reins. Galloper said, "'Hold on with your knees, too. I promise I won't let you fall.' And they set off together. Galloper trotted around the bedroom a few times, so that Rowan got used to riding, and then he said, "'Right, hold tight.' And he flew out through the window into the night sky. Rowan said, "'How did you do that? The horses can't fly.' Galloper just smiled. We're in a dream, Miss Rowan. We can do anything. All the stars were twinkling, and a big silver moon shone down on the darkened houses and trees and gardens. Galloper flew high above the rooftops, so Rowan could see the whole town laid out in neat rows below her. Then Galloper said, Well, where shall we go now? Rowan thought for a while, she said, Can we fly to the sea? So Galloper flew over the sands to where little waves splashed on the shore. Then they carefully flew out of the harbour and watched dolphins playing in the moonlight. They saw ships all lit up for the evening, and airplanes with winking red and green lights, and a few very surprised seagulls. Then Galloper said, "'I think that's enough for our first trip.' 
Robin said, yes, you, you must be tired after all that flying. Galloper laughed. I'm a shire horse, Miss Rowan. I can work all day and not get tired, but I think it's time I took you back to bed. When Rowan snuggled down under her comforter, she said, Will you come to see me again? Well, of course I will, Galloper said. I have a feeling we're going to have lots of adventures together. But remember, you must be fast asleep first. In the morning, Rowan told Mummy about her adventure, and Mummy said, Oh, I wish I still had lovely dreams like that, sweetheart. You're a very lucky girl. And Rowan Elizabeth began to realise that she was. <laughs>